What's up guys? Here's another, you already know this video. I was talking to a new connection on Instagram about, you know, how he escaped the, the ghettos of uh, Jamaica and came to the States and, you know, was just, you know, trying to live a better life and, you know, what kind of discipline mentality that takes. And I asked him the question, you know, what is it about you that's different than your peers, you think, that got you out of that? And he point blank told me he doesn't think that there is much difference except for like the the discipline and actions that he took uh, because that's just what he wanted and as soon as we exited that conversation I went on my timeline and I saw a post that I put on my story today which is the you know February 2nd <laughs> it said uh, you know the way to the so the way to solve the student loan crisis is to pay it and I laughed because um, I'm I'm very uh, uh, autonomous I'm very you know uh, self-driven focus, that sort of thing. And I, I think if there's anything you can count on as far as your own success, it is uh, far more likely that you're going to get there by driving yourself than relying on external factors that are about as arbitrary as the, I don't know, <laughs> the weather. And it, it made me really think about what I've been seeing a lot over the weekend and something that's been hitting me again and again. It's like, you know, Hey, banks have been, have made like $35 billion last year off of overdraft fees, uh, from their customers who are already broke and, you know, complaining about student loans and how expensive they are and like how expensive education is. And, um, you know, there's, there's no good clean, clean, whatever that means. Um, healthy, nutritious, and inexpensive fast food, um, and, and et cetera, et cetera, right? There's, there's, there's no this, there's no that there's, you know, this, this is what we have. This is ridiculous. All these things. And I started thinking, I was like, yeah, man, but like, there's options out there that other people have found and they just put in a little extra work to find it. And what's crazy is we act as though those people are a special breed or as if we didn't sign up for the student loans. We didn't take out the loans ourselves, like somebody else did it for us. Or, um, you know, we didn't, <laughs> we didn't know those overdraft fees existed. Um, or the first time, maybe we were caught off by, by, you know, surprise or whatever the first time, but you know, after the first time and you get a second and third and fourth overdraft, then it's like, okay, kind of who, whose fault is it now? Like you knew this existed. So what's going on here? And, um, the point I'm trying to make is we, we have this weird thing about us where we sign up for things willingly, knowingly, seeing the math, seeing what things cost, seeing the punishment for things that if we don't follow the rules, and yet we do it anyways, and then we act as though we're the, like, Pikachu meme where we're, like, like shocked when things happen, and those companies come back to us and say, hey, we want our money. You signed up. You said if you do this, if you do X, then Y happens, and then we're complaining that Y happens. And it's, it's really remarkable, um, and it's a testament to how much of a victim mentality we all live in, even those of us who don't associate with that, even those of us who are more autonomous or more self-driven, we still are caught up in this way of like, I can't, you know, school shouldn't cost as much, and I can't believe I have to pay these things back, and blah, blah, blah. It's the reality, baby. Like, that's what it is. That's what it is. That's where we live. That's what we signed up for. And if you don't want to take on student loans, don't do it in the future. Don't tell your kids not to do it. Find a way to pay for it. Find a way for them to pay for it. Or have a plan afterwards. It doesn't make sense. You can, you can, you can complain, but you're going to look like an idiot. You, you don't, it does, it doesn't make sense. Right? So it's a really simple thought. It doesn't really need much more expanding, but what I want to express is that we cannot expect to rise up above the rest. We cannot expect to be unique. We cannot expect to be um, elite or live a better better life than, than the masses if we are acting like the rest of the masses. We have to separate. And the, the quote I, I live and die by is if you 
Want something you've never had, you must do something you've never done. And that takes a daily discipline mentality of recognizing that you are in control of your destiny and nobody else is coming to save you. It's you. You are your own hero of your own story. And it's time to go. Let's move. But of course, you already know this. <laughs>